So I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to take animations that come from software like Deep Motion Inc, where you you give them a video and then they um, use machine learning to create a skeleton, animated uh, skeleton. And I wanted to show you how to take the the skeleton that comes from Deep Motion and put it onto your randomly rigged Mixamo character. So if you upload a character to Mixamo, um, let it do the auto rig process. Um, you can then download it and you can use that skeleton to be driven by the one from Deep Motion. So I'm just going to download this as an FBX in a T pose. That's good. Download. And while that's going, I'm going to open up Cinema 4D R23. In R23, they've added a new feature that lets you retarget um, animations to other, from one skeleton to another. So this is the file that you'll get from Deep Motion when you download uh, your motion capture video from their website. It will come down as an FBX file. We're going to use the included T pose file here. So I'm going to drag that into Cinema, and we don't. Uh, this project's already open. Uh, do you want to open? Yeah. Okay, fine. Cool. So we get uh, the skeleton starts in a T pose, which is what we need. And then if we move to one frame, you see the animation plays. So we'll go back to frame zero, and I'm going to drop down a rigging tag, character definition tag. This is new in R23. So um, under this, you go open manager. And here we have uh, sort of like a sort of character definition of the skeleton. And sometimes with certain models, you can just click extract skeleton and it will automatically grab all the all the right bits for you. But in this instance, it's not working because the naming convention of this skeleton isn't recognized by the very precise naming convention required um, by this character definition tool. So what we need to do is just drop down all these uh, little drop down menus and just start dragging them manually. And we're going to create our own preset for this so that we never have to do it again. So basically under torso, it's recognized the hips correctly. It seems to recognize all the spine joints correctly. It's got the neck joint and it's got the head, which is great. So left arm isn't working. So we need to tell it what the clavicle is and that's the shoulder bone. So here we have the shoulder bone left. So I'm going to drag that into the strings to an include box. And that means that when I press extract skeleton, it now finds that joint. And it also means that we can save that as a preset. So for next time, we won't have to do it again. So for the bicep, that's just the this bone here. So left arm, drag that in there. Forearm, drag that there. Hand goes there. And then we just do the same for the right arm. So that's the shoulder. And then the bicep is that one. Forearm there. And then the hand. Let's hit extract skeleton to check. That's all working. And then we don't need the fingers because there's no finger animation here anyway, I think. Um, if you had finger animation, you could drag in those. So we're going to the left leg. So left up leg, I think, is the left leg. Oh, sorry. We want to go to thigh, sorry, and drag that into thigh. And then shin would be left leg. Foot would be this foot. And then we'll just do the right leg. So right thigh is up leg. Right shin is uh, right leg. Foot is right foot and then we don't care about toe well, we could do the toes actually i'll just do the left toe base and the right toe base and then we can go extract again and that's all seems to be good um so i'm just going to save that as a preset and i'll call it deep motion and now we can close this down and we can bring in our Mixamo character. So I'm just going to merge the Mixamo character into the scene. And that will be this here. And we'll just leave this. This should be fine. Yeah. And I don't want to reassign, reassign included takes, so I'll go no. And then we have our Mixamo character. 
So I'm just gonna do the same thing for the Mixamo characters hip um, on the base joint. So I'm gonna right click and go rigging tags, uh, character definition, open manager. And if we extract the skeleton, that w has worked because it's kind of set up to work with Mixamo, I think. So we don't need to make a preset. We don't have to do anything else there. That just works. So now all we need to do is add another tag onto here. I think it's this one we go to motion solver. And then we just, in the motion solver, you can see we've got a source and a target. So we want to just set our source as the one, there's the previous deep motion one. So I drop that in there. Now, if we scrub the timeline, we can see that our Mixamo guy is working with the new, with the skeleton from, with the animation from deep motion. So you're all good to go.